it's Presley at ActoGamed.com here, and today I did my first dissection. It was so exciting! <laughs> so me and some of my homeschool friends got together and bought these homeschool dissection kits. There are nine different kinds of specimens, including the one I did today, and it is really cool. We all got together and did our dissection together, and we watched an Emily video on your first dissection. Um, I was talking about um, what you should feel like during your first dissection, and not to be afraid during your first dissection. And she mentioned that it might be a bit gross. Uh, it was kind of gross, but not super duper gross. I wanted to throw up and just like, okay. Thank you, Emily, again, for helping me with my first dissection. And then, after we watched the Emily video, we watched a little bit on the anatomy of a worm, as well as a worm dissection. So, there'll be a link to both of the videos below we watched before dissecting the worm. So, in the nine specimens, we are starting with the most simplest. Even though it wasn't that simple, it was an earthworm. So, er, the earthworm was very kind of complicated, but it was the most simple one. So, I fear for how complicated the new ones, the next ones ahead of me, are going to be. Okay, so I want to tell you a little bit about the tools I used in my dissection. So, this tool I didn't really use too much in my dissection. Uh, I used it to destroy, to move around where the sperm was produced, but I don't see them, so apparently I destroyed them with this. But this is what I'm using to point out stuff. And this is the most important tool in every dissection, the scalpel. And I learned the proper way to hold scalpel, like a pencil. Spicy, spicy, stabby, stabby. This is the main tool during dissections. So this is a lot like a dental pick, at least it looks a lot like a dental pick. Um, it looks what a lot like what I pulled my last tooth with. I stuck it behind the tooth and yanked it out. But this is what I I use to like pull apart the skin before sticking the pins in. So like moving the skin and then sticking the pins. So this was a very helpful tool, but the scalpel, of course, is the most helpful tool during dissection. So you can't do one without it. And now I will show you my other tools that I have. Here are the surgical blades, which go on the scalpel. And here is scissors. So our first dissection, we just used scalpel, but I bet you could use scissors a lot for this. So a lot of things you think you would use a scalpel for, you can use scissors for. And these are not normal scissors, of course. They're like medical fancy scissors. And here are tweezers, which if um, you're working on a specimen where you remove stuff, this is what you remove stuff with. But in the worm, we did not remove stuff. And then here is a tool that we actually don't need, but during our dissections. But we have it because home dissections, some dice, if you do it at home, it might take more than one day. So use this to put the preserving chemicals back on it because you washed it off before dissecting. So, and then you put the preserving chemicals back on it before working on it the next day. The other very, very, very important tools, you cannot do a dissection without these, is the pad the, and the pins. So, those came in here too, but they're just on the worm right now because I used all my pins on the worm. Um, they're all part of the kit you can order, and there's a link in the description below where you can order these, and I forgot to talk about my magic ruler. So these, you're supposed to only cut an inch at a time on the worm. So this is just for measuring cuts. I don't think you actually have to measure cuts. It's optional, but we have it anyways. So those are the tools I used during my dissection. So now let's move on to the anatomy of a worm. So, I learned a ton about the anatomy of a worm, so I'm going to go over some of my favorite things about the anatomy of a worm. So, here is the intestine, and you can see there's a lot of brown stuff by the intestine area. That's because I accidentally popped the intestine several times with my scalpel here. So, 
worms eat dirt, so the dirt is kind of all over the worm. And then right here at the top, this little, there, this was up here, that is the brain area. But the brain is super tiny, so that's pretty hard to see. And then here, and they actually have ten hearts. Ten hearts. A worm has ten hearts. Um, I stood out thinking it had two hearts, so I'm like, oh my god, it's a time warp. And then it has ten hearts, and I'm like, what kind of, eh. Yes, it's a true fact. Worms have ten hearts. Ten freaking hearts. That's a lot. And here is one of the only things I didn't destroy with my scalpel. <laughs> is This is, so the blackish one right there is the crop. And the crop holds dirt. It is designed to expand, and that's where all the dirt is held. And then the gizzard breaks down the dirt, and, and here's its spot. And then the really, really long digestive really, really long digestive system. Actually, this whole worm is mostly digestive system because worms don't really do much other than digest. Stuff. So, another fun fact is worms are both male and female because, oh, well, I moved those, but I can't find them right now, but it both has things which receive and produce sperm. So it is both male and female, but it still needs another worm's sperm to be able, so they still mate and they can't fertilize their own eggs, but they both, they all are male and female. Which is a really cool fact about worms. Unrelated fact about worms, apparently, uh, we learned because we are hearing Emily's dissecting video and she mentioned that pigs' livers are the size of a pencil eraser. The size of this thing on the end of the pencil that I learned from Emily's video. And we will be dissecting a pig so you will be able to see how tiny that liver is. So I learned a lot, lot, lot of cool stuff about worms that you would never think of when you just see a worm in the dirt. So, I haven't said everything about the worm here, but I said my favorite facts. I'm excited to see how more complicated animals like pigs and starfish are similar and different, which is going to be cool because you probably won't, won't know how much a pig and a starfish are similar. Uh, and even a worm and a pig. They both have brains, they both have hearts, One, but they, but, but pigs don't have ten hearts. <laughs> so this, we didn't use this during the dissection, but we have it at home. This is a USB microscope that we use quite a lot, and it's really cool. You can kind of overview the worm a bit. So we don't use this. We don't have it. Um, this is at home, and we're doing the dissections at somebody else's house. But once we're done with dissections, I'm bringing the specimens home to look at, so I could look at them more closely with this microscope. And it takes pictures. Okay. I'm really excited that we started this, and every other Tuesday, I will keep you guys posted on these wonderful, magnificent dissections. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!